Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to create this image hover effect. This is a very simple image hovering effect in which the image blurs out and some text is displayed and it's not like that we just have to use the text. You can use any small icon or image or anything that you want to put inside that depends upon you so without any further ado now let's get into the coding just open your text editor whichever text editor that you are using before moving any further let's save the html document give it any name that you want and use the dot html extension then create html tag Hit enter, a basic HTML file will be created by the text editor. If it is not, you can pause the video and write these tags. Quickly fill in the title. And since we are going to use an external CSS file, we need to have a link to that file. Then get inside the body and create a div tag and the class container then again get inside and create a figure tag and class image hyphen hover space image hyphen hover hyphen blur then again get inside and create a img tag source as the pic.jpg and class as img since i have saved this file on the desktop and the pic is also on the desktop i don't have to specify the location but it can be different for you you will have to specify the address of the image then get inside and create a pig caption tag that is the figure caption then create a heading And in the same way, let's create some text. This heading and this text will be displayed when we hover over the image. So with this, the HTML part is over. So create a new file. Name it style.css and make sure to save it in the same location where you have saved the HTML file. Alright, then we can open the HTML file also so that we can see the progress. Alright. Let's start with the img class. Let's make the height 300 pixel. Alright. Then container class. Let's just format it. And change the minimum height to 98 VH. And change the alignments of the item to center. Also justify the contents to the center. Then start with the image hover class. Position relative. Display as inline block.
and margin as zero. Maximum width 100%. And let's add a background color. The font color to white. Overflow to hidden. We are going to use transform property. This transform property applies a two dimensional or a three dimensional transformation to an element. So, this property can be used to rotate, scale, move the element. And we are using translate Z. So, this will define a three dimensional translation using only the Z axis. Then copy it. Write hyphen O hyphen paste it. Then hyphen MS hyphen paste it. Hyphen MOZ hyphen paste it. Then hyphen WebKit. These are the vendor prefixes and these vendor prefixes in CSS serve the purpose of allowing browsers to play about with their own implementations of new CSS rules or adding stuff totally unique to them. So you don't need to master these keywords, you don't have to worry about them. Just keep writing the codes with me. Alright. Then dot image hyphen hover space fig caption. This will refer the figure caption tag inside the image hyphen hover. Let's change the background color and add some padding. And also change its position on the page. And make the font color white as well. Here is the figure caption or the big caption which contains all the text. Dot image hyphen hover space big caption space h3 copy it paste it again. Change the H3 to P color white and text align to center. Then dot image hover, comma dot image hover colon before so using this colon before makes it a pseudo element a pseudo element in css is used to style specified parts of an element like we can style the first line of an element or the first letter of an element or we can insert something before a specified element or we can insert something after some specified content or some specified element so here we are going to use it to insert or style something before the element and in the same way we can insert or style something after the element using colon after.
then image hover space star to select everything or all the tags inside this class and comma dot image hover space star colon before comma space dot image hyphen hover space star colon after then box sizing border box the css box sizing property allows us to include the padding and border in an element's total width and height then transition css transitions allows us to change property values very smoothly over a given duration now the first part defines the transition property that is it specifies the name of the css property the transition effect is for then 0.35 second is the transition duration which specifies how many seconds or milliseconds a transition effect takes to complete and then the third part is ease which is the transition timing function which specifies the speed curve of the transition effect Let's copy it and add the vendor prefixes. Then let's style the image hover blur class. Don't forget to use the dot selector before the name of the class because in CSS the syntax is in a way that we have to use a dot selector before the name of a class and a hash symbol before the name of an ID and we don't have to use any symbol before any HTML tag. Then opacity to zero. So because of this opacity set to zero, the text will disappear. All right. Dot image hyphen hover hyphen blur. Colon hover. Greater than sign image. So this selector will apply the stylings to the ing tag which is directly inside this image hyphen hover hyphen blur class and it will style the hovering effect over this class on the image filter blur inside bracket 30 pixels the filter property in css defines visual effects it is very often used with images so the effects that this filter function can provide are blur or brightness or contrast and with blur property we specify the pixel and a larger value will create more blur if no value is specified zero is used so we need to specify a value so we are using 30 pixel then let's add vendor prefixes then use the transform property And as we know, transform property is used to transform any element very smoothly from one property to another. So scale 1.2 is going to increase the size of the image. Now let's add vendor prefixes to this transform property. right then opacity to zero so that the image gets hidden when we hover over it or if you want you can have any other value for the opacity if you don't want the image to be hidden completely then dot image hyphen hover hyphen blur colon hover space figure caption or the fig caption Opacity 1 
because we want the text to be displayed when we hover and do transition delay 0.21 seconds if you want you can change the opacity values so that the image is not completely hidden when we hover over it but anyways with this we have completed this video in the subsequent videos we are going to have different image hovering effects so i'm going to see you in the next videos and as always thanks for watching thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing to my channel